So today, there's going to be three things that I discuss in this video, and I have no idea how much camera space I have, but it's going to be a long one, most likely. So, right now, I think that we'll just stick to the basic ABCs for the recovery chit-chat today, strengthening my recovery, daily affirmations, meditations for adult children of alcoholics, slash dysfunctional families. And we'll just stay right in the moment here, which today happens to be April 12th. Family roles. Such survival roles tend to have a healthy life and remain fixed in our personalities after we have left our unhealthy homes. There is the 40-year-old sister living out the lost child role by avoiding holiday meals and rarely calling home. Roles adopted to survive our childhood experiences are our default positions in life unless we become conscious of the underlying causes. Before ACA recovery, we may have avoided our families because we were overwhelmed with fear, anger, sadness, ambivalence, or mistrust. Not participating in the false cheerfulness of the holidays was one way of protecting ourselves. As we make progress using the tools of the program, we may continue to stray away from our families but now, it's because we realize the interaction is not healthy. We may hope for a time when we are able to care for our inner child well enough to re-establish contact, and if we do so, it will be with the full knowledge of what we may or may not get in return when we no longer play the role that makes our families comfortable. Recovery is a process that ebbs and flows like the waves on the sands of our life. With the help of our ACA support, our higher power, and the compassionate support group, we find along the way, we can delight in the awakening of our spirit that can bring us joy every day. On this day, I will keep track of my changing family role as a way of noting my progress on this positively exciting spiritual journey I am on. So, I have a story. Pretty cool story. Pretty lame. But it's cool. And lame. It's pretty cool though. It's just kind of lame. Pretty cool. The way I'm going to tell it is pretty cool. The story itself is pretty lame. Maybe it's lame and then the way I'm going to tell it is pretty cool. Or the way I'm going to tell it is lame and the story itself is pretty cool. Either way, I have a story and I'm going to tell it. Story of my day. And it all begins with me. So I'm putting on my jeans, and I'm lacing up my boots, and I'm preparing now to go view a home which I've never stepped foot in before. However, I'm thinking to myself, I'm feeling blessed. I'm feeling gifted. I'm describing how I'm feeling in a general way at this time. There's a crunch to this video and that impacts by time so I can only surmise the amount of misery that I will be describing as this video continues to unfold and shake shake up just a little bit at a time however so my boots are finally on and I have my shirt on my black shirt tucked into my pants with a belt and I have to do laundry as much as I hate doing laundry, it has to be done. Long story short, I have no possible way to put, up, to put on my plaid shirt today 
based off of yesterday's occurrence, simply for the fact that I still have to do laundry, and it's all compacted into a duffel bag at this time, ready to get shipped into the washer at its earliest convenience. However, all that being said, I still have to go view this place today, whether I have a plaid shirt to put over my normal black shirt or not. So I decide against postponing the event till tomorrow in looming fear that it may be scooped up by an earlier candidate. So I walk down the stairs with my quote unquote Timberlands, which aren't really Timberlands, but y'all don't gotta know that. They're like knockoffs, but they look good. And that's all that matters. They feel good. <clears throat> so I'm working, I'm working down the stairs here and I'm working my way out the door and I take a left and I take another path, the path less traveled. I walk straight up the road and I take a right and to my left I notice just by looking the person that I'm supposed to meet is standing beside two other human beings. And now I'm thinking to myself, nothing. So as I approach, they're on the opposite side of the road and I'm approaching the residence that I'm supposed to be looking at, or viewing, so to speak, my identity is now under compromise. And I'm believing that it's a setup. It's a mass production of evil, completely unnecessary. But at the same time, I would rather live in this dump than live on the street, so to speak. So I'm going to go in there and I'm going to take a peek. That's what I'm going to do. Whether it's a dump or not, I don't know that. I can only imagine. So this is my judgmental attitude starting to crop up here. And we haven't even stepped in foot the door. So we go in the door. <sighs> and already... The smell of vomit illuminates in my mind, in my body, and in my soul. I'm willing to look past that. I've been in worse environments in my life than a little bit of vomit. Dried up, stuck to a, a wall or, oh, I can now think back to a time. In my past, and I'm not going to get into specifics of where I could smell vomit, where there was none. Where is it coming from? I don't know. All I know is it usually stems from people being extremely filthy, aka unclean, aka self-care. Let's just toss that right out the window, for today at least probably tomorrow too, and probably for the rest of time until I do something about my life. However, that's my past and this is today. So today, I'm walking up the stairs and the landlord's showing me the ropes and she... There, I just gave away the landlord's identity. Anyways, the landlord's showing me the ropes, showing me generally around the place without actually taking me into areas that are off limits. So there's two bathrooms. That's awesome. There's kind of a common area with a with a fridge and kind of reminds me of a of a place that I would deal drugs if I was a drug dealer. A place that I would do massive drug deals. So already I'm starting to get paranoid and my blood's starting to flow and I'm starting to get ready to fight and I'm just wondering what's coming next. Who's gonna come in here and what do I have to say and 
Do I have to say anything at all? Am I going to have to just fight my way out? Am I even going to get out? Is there going to be someone walked in here with a 12-gauge shotgun or a sawed-off or some sort of chainsaw that takes me, ties me up to a, 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 uh, a pole, a shower pole, yanks it tight and chops my head off with an axe? I don't know. I don't care because this is life at its finest, baby, and I'm going for it. So as this conversation unfolds with this new quote-unquote business partner, a.k.a. more so of a friend, <laughs> an acquaintance, so to speak, I'm thinking to myself, this is a pretty good offering, and it's looking like this is going to be a crazy activity to live in this godforsaken home, but I can do it now so as the conversation goes deeper and deeper this person gets on the phone and I'm thinking to myself all right you're gonna sit, you're seriously gonna sit here on the phone while this person that's sitting next to you is here with you in real life but your money-making squeaming scheming scandalous ways are much more important than a bag of money sitting right next to you in real life Kudos. Hooey hogwash horse manure. Get off the damn phone and speak to you, boy. So I patiently wait, and I'm not really liking the space I'm given because next to me I'm crunched to a fridge and a desk in a chair like a sardine, one sardine packed in a can and still feeling squished. So... I'm okay with that. I'm willing to let that go. So I let that go. And this person gets off the phone and we start bantering back and forth about the possibilities of future locations. And I'm going to myself now. This is just amazing. I need to know more about this place because I need to have a place to move into by May 1st. Due to some unforeseen circumstances relating to the place I'm living at right now that are somewhat getting brushed under the rug in this video that I can kind of bring to the forefront off topic or maybe over a cup of coffee or a phone call at a later time. However, for the duration of this video, we're going to kind of stay on topic. So the conversation with this potential landlord ends up going very well, in fact, and I'm being serious when I say that. Lovely conversation with this person. And I'm just being my normal, sarcastic, ignorant, rude self. And this person's finding all my jokes, which aren't really jokes, but they're kind of jokes at the same time. I just kind of, that's just my way of expressing myself at times when I'm in a very peculiar or familiar situation that I feel comfortable sharing in that way that the other person is going to be receptive to it, a.k.a. not blow my head off with a 12-gauge shotgun or belay me with a 12-inch switchblade or whatever the case may be but anyways so this person's laughing at all my quote-unquote humor and I'm just telling her off left right and center because I'm not interested in what she has to sell to me I just need a place to live for the first of May so anyways the conversation kind of turns to a place where you know, I just, there's no interest in speaking any further on the matter all I'll say is that I still don't know if, if I'm going to take that place or not, and I would probably if, if I received a phone call tomorrow saying, would you like to take this place on May 1st? Some references, I notified my sponsor that he is now a reference, and the person paying my bills, the person giving me my paychecks has actually been used as a reference as well. So if that all checks out, bada bing, bada boom, this guy's moving into that particular location, which I will not say. I'm not going to tell the whole world where I'm living. If you all want to know where I'm living, you can just understand that I'm in a current self-made live-in prison, which is ten times worse than any prison you all could ever make for me. But anyways, that's a $7 billion accordance right there that can be fixed by me and another human being. Probably not you. I'll just say that if you're watching this video, it's probably not going to be you. The reality is that that's the end of that conversation. 
And now we're moving on to the meat and potatoes of this video. The funnest part of the video. This new application that I found, because you know me, being my typical conning, conniving, cheating, lying, stealing, and manipulative self, have found an application that works just for people like that. So, it's like gravy on the pudding. So, I have this new application called, called like Black Bar or Black Bird or Black Berry or something like that. Anyways, it's called Black Fly is what it's called. So, it's an application on the App Store, on the Google Play Store, that you click download. So, so as it's downloading to your phone, you're waiting and you're anticipating. Is this just going to be one of those other crackpot apps that everybody talks the world up about but actually isn't what it says it is? Or is it actually going to be the real meat and potatoes? Well, so far so good. I've gotten almost a thousand followers off this app and I have only had to literally click buttons. That's literally all I've done is just click buttons and wait. The app does the work for you. Like, It's basically... I can just boil it down to it's like an investment. So I pay, I think, what did I pay? Something around the area of four bucks and I get an entire month of just constant fake followers, which is pretty much what the world is anyway. So what's the difference if I have to work for the followers or if I just click buttons and it gives me followers. So I'm just, it's just feeding me free followers and I'm just clicking buttons every once in a while. It's a pretty cool app. I highly recommend that if you're looking to increase your social media presence, that you download Black Fly. It's a wonderful Instagram app, and all it does is you download within the app modules. So each module, is, it's kind of like a game, really, but it's not. It's a, it's a real life, it's actually reality. It's online reality, which is reality, because you do. it does take time out of your life, I will say that. If you don't have the time to spare, then this one is probably not for you. But if you do have the time to spare and you're looking to increase your social media platform at a sort of a steroidal growth, like it's not natural to gain as many followers as I did in one day, considering that I'm actually not that popular online at this current moment in time. But I will say that you are. Like the app will literally say that you are just by feeding you all these free followers and all you're literally doing is clicking one button at a time. So anyways, needless to say, in the last 24 hours, the app has been fantastic. It'll give you free likes, free followers, and most of them do not really like unfollow you. They will not really unfollow you back. Like a few will, but on, I would say, about 80 to 20. You'll get eight people stick with you and two people will unfollow you for every 10 followers you get so i mean if you're looking for unnatural growth like gains is what we call it if you're looking for gains on insta follow posts is not the way to go black fly is the way to go family and friends because black fly will give you a substantial amount of growth and you don't have to put a penny into it if you don't want to so you're investing here you want to make an investment? You want to go to the bank and make an investment of millions and millions of dollars? Or do you want to have fun? You want to have fun on Instagram and increase your social media platform by like, let's say, for example, that I'm paying $4 and gaining, and that's for 30 days. That's $4 for 30 days, plus all that time I have to spend, which is quite a substantial amount of time. So that will cause me to have to assess that the amount of time that I'm actually willing to spend on that and the time that I have to sacrifice on some other things. But it's definitely something that I'll be keeping close contact with and an eye on over the next 30 days just to see if it is really worth the amount of time spent for what it's actually giving me, which is not in reality anything at all. Like I could totally live without all those free followers, regardless of if they could live without me or not. I know for sure that I could live without them, specifically at this time, and vice versa. Like, they could specifically live without me at this time, because your boy, you're just all ain't that important. And you know that, like, if you're humble enough to know the fact that you just ain't all really that important in the grand scheme of things, then you're in a pretty good place in life. Because if we're all just on the same playing field, like, for example, 
I'm even considering just totally knocking off, like mass unfollowing everybody. Why? Because I really don't see the point. I don't see the point in having people that I'm not actually friends with in real life as a follower on Insta. Like, so I have maybe like two or three people that I'm considering keeping on Insta and the rest of y'all I'm just considering unfollowing. So I hope that that's something that y'all be able to live with. Because I know it's something I can for sure live with on my own. As uncomfortable as it causes me to think and feel like talking to you all about that. It's not something I'm doing 100%, but it's definitely something I'm considering. Yeah, I'll look like a total jackass when I do it, so maybe there's something else to be looked at here. But that's a big decision to just go ahead and unfollow the entire lot of us, for the most part. That's a huge decision. It's like, that's something that could be seriously impactful to somebody's life. And I have to be able to live with the fact that somebody may commit suicide over me unfollowing them on insta or they may go out and harm somebody else as a direct reflection of how i treated them on insta i have to live with that it, do i really need to click the mass unfollow button all that much do i really need to click that mass unfollow button is it really that important to me to condense my following list on insta i have to ask myself those those very important questions and if I really get down to the honesty of that situation in particular, no, I really don't. I don't need to mass unfollow everybody except the people that I'm actually friends with in real life. In fact, I'm probably not, not, I'm not really in, in a position to, to speculate any further about that matter because I have no experience on the matter of Instagram or and I really have no knowledge, like I have no knowledge at all, like the more, and I'm being serious when I say that I have very limited knowledge of the world and the wiseties and the niceties and the intricacies of the globe that we live in today. It's a very confusing and baffling and powerful world we live in. And for me to go and unfollow everybody on Insta just to condense my and there has to be some other motives there too to look cool is one of them it's like oh, i'll look so cool to have all these followers and only three following like that'll make my popularity look so cool but in reality like i will have to look myself in the mirror and i will have to feel bad about that do i really care like do i really care that much about somebody else's feelings that i don't care about my own feelings the exact same? Like, can I not give myself that same amount of respect? All these questions can be answered with one simple and effective answer. I ain't clicking that mass unfollow button, so there's there's no reason to speculate any further on that discussion at this time. Maybe that may change tomorrow, but at this time, the following list is safe for at least one more day. <laughs> Regardless of how I feel about it now. I don't really want to, but I will keep the following. I will keep the following list generally the same, um, and we'll get more into specifics about about um, following Chief, like Follow Chief, which is it's a mass unfollow app. It kind of it illuminates who's unfollowing me, so I can unfollow them back. You people are not safe. I can guarantee you that. The people that are unfollowing this guy, you will be getting unfollowed back. I can guarantee you that. But the ones that are actually following me, I will not unfollow you at this time. Maybe tomorrow that will change. But at this time, we still remain follow buddies on Insta for at least one more day. So that I can give you. I can give you that love for one more day. All the haters, you can keep on hating. And I'll just keep on loving you. So you you unfollow me and I'll just be clicking the mass unfollow button. So y'all will have to press follow, unfollow 100 times. And I'll just have to click mass unfollow and swipe a bar to the right. So it'll be like whoop. And it'll follow up to 100 people at once. So you will have to click unfollow 100 times between 100 people. And this man will have to swipe a bar to the right and click on follow one time. Now that I think about it, not really worth the effort.
All y'all have to do is click one button and I have to do two things. Plus I have to open the app to do it. That's three things. I'm too lazy. So I don't think I'll be unfollowing any of you. Not today. I might do it once a day. I might do one a day a mass unfollow just to be a jackass. And see how that works out. It still doesn't make any sense though in the long run because you will only have to do one activity. You will have to open your you will have to open your app. So my, me opening my app and you opening up your app that cancels that action cancels out right there. And then you unfollowing me and I unfollow you that that action cancels it out right there too. Just a million people could unfollow me and it still cancels out because we only have to each click the button once. But the fact that I have to swipe the bar all the way over to the right just to just to unfollow 100 people that's an activity that you do not have to do so i'm losing out i'm losing energy on that mass on that matter right there so that's that in and of itself is not going to work out so you can unfollow me you can hate me you can leave hate mail in the comment section in fact black 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 fly actually you can make your own comment list and basically create your own social media like you you can literally comment on your own pictures from other people's accounts so like it's just it's it's crazy black black fly is absolutely it's 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 nuts like i can be having conversations with myself with on my own pictures so i don't have to have anybody else commenting on my photo and i could have like a million or more comments on my photo by the time it's all said and done irregardless of if anybody else comments on my photo which pretty much nobody does at this time anyways but I don't care because I'll be commenting on my own photos from your account so ha take that and I'll be liking my photos from your account so take that stick that in your pipe and smoke it and I'll be following myself from your accounts with Blackfly so go to the bar Crack open a beer and suck one back for your boy here. Because he don't need your attention anymore. I'll just give it all to myself via your time and resources. So thank you. I appreciate that. I just want you all to know that I just, I'm absolutely adoring this situation right now. And there's not really much else to say. Blackfly, I gave it a five star on, on the App Store. It is literally the most antisocial, narcissistic, sociopathic, insane, and unwise, cra it's just, it's foolish, it's disgusting, it's vile, it's self-centered, egotistical, maniacal, and it's the perfect app if you're a lying, cheating, stealing con job like me. So if you're interested in an ignorant, stupid app like Blackfly, like I am, go ahead and download that right now on the App Store and get massive amounts of followers on Instagram, massive amounts of likes, and they're, it's cheating. It's, it's like taking steroids. It's like taking steroids and injecting it into your social media, like whatever platform you're using. So say you're using a laptop or if you're using a, any type of app, like a phone, like it's literally like taking a microchip filled with steroids and just jamming it into your phone and going pew, every two seconds. And your phone just goes, Bow! and your follower list just blows up. Like, I know a thousand followers doesn't seem like that much, but when you have an Instagram account for three weeks or four weeks, and you literally get like just over 500 followers, and then in one day gain over a thousand followers and like over a thousand likes, like, you have just injected a substantial amount of growth into your social media which is unprecedented at this very moment in time in accordance with all the other follower get these followers fast apps that are out there this one takes the cake this one takes all those apps crunches them into one folds them up and these apps are tyrannosaurus rexes in size takes them all crunches them all up with two fingers no less two fingers crunches them all and just kind of flicks them with the strength that this app provides. So you can take all your other 
Instagram, like download this app and you'll gain so many followers mumbo jumbo and hooey and take that right out the window and just kind of take your business elsewhere because this guy ain't buying you're you're wasting my time and that's what i told the landlord today too like wanted to keep me there and continue this conversation this this long-winded conversation it's like are you going to let me move in or not like why are we talking about this any further like there's a beautiful day outside it's sunny it's like 20 degrees out today. It's a fantastic day to just get out there and be merry. And no, no, like you're wasting my time. Like, get out of my face. And apparently that was funny too. Although it wasn't said exactly like that. That's essentially what was said. So, and what I'm doing here with you right now is I'm wasting your time. So if you're new, subscribe to the channel, yo. Leave a like or a dislike. Rate the video. And leave a comment in the comment section telling me what you think and feel. I don't care what you say. Just say it. Get it out. And once it's out, it's in full effect. It has no power over me anymore when I get a thought out of my, or a feeling even more so, out of my body. With words, activity, anything in between. It has no effect. No ill power over me anymore once it's in full illumination on the table. So that's the situation for today, folks. You've been notified. Your ditty has been sung. And Tim, Tom, and Harry have been fixed. And everybody's happy. So get out of here and go live your life for another day. And I'm going to go and stick a needle in my arm. Peace out, yo.